again at Yeti's Pizza, Yeti's Italian restaurant with Felicia. Hi, Hi. baby doll. How are you? Good. How are you? Thank you for having us back again. You're welcome. Uh, today we're going to do... Uh, bread pudding. You know, we were going to do some other things, but then some people asked about this bread pudding. They've had it here before. It's absolutely yeah, delicious. It was one of my desserts that I it got beat out by carrot cake, but I still have customers that... Still want it. And it's I love it. It's really delicious. easy and cheap to make, and if you have leftover bread, it's perfect. Okay, let's go. Let's yeah. go. Bread pudding, wonderful. So wonderful. should I say the recipe first so I don't forget? Because I always forget. We well, mean I... tell them the recipe. Yeah. Yeah. If you want, tell them what's involved. Okay, we're gonna make a nine. We're gonna make this. My son stole the piece, so that's. Look at that. What's we're gonna on make top there. Caramel. Oh my God. I no. know. Oh my God. It's a nine by nine, or that might even be an eight by eight, but like a square pan or any size pan but this is the size we're going to make it says nine by nine pan nine cups of bread cubes one and a third cups of milk three eggs one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and three quarters of a cup of raisins that i soak whenever i do raisins in a in a uh when i bake i always soak them for at least a couple hours or overnight in orange juice or apple juice it makes them really fat and juicy so you know, sometimes if you make cinnamon buns or whatever, the raisins are really hard. They won't be if you soak them in orange juice or what, apple juice what overnight. Did, where did bread pudding come from, you know? I have absolutely no, no idea. I, I My could, oven. I don't right, know. I understand. It's been around for a little bit. I don't know, but I know I put it on the menu because after the bread's a day old, then, you know, I make croutons or whatever. Yeah, sure. But... So I had leftover bread. That you don't it. want to throw away. It's perfectly good. Right, but good. it's been so busy, I don't have any leftover bread. We're oh, actually I understand. making You're very the bread busy here at, at uh, Yeti's Italian it. Restaurant. We're open every day, of course. And No, uh, we are not. We're closed on Tuesdays now. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Well, you know why? Because you were working yourself ragged. Because I can't, yeah. And you needed need a day, day off. off. So yes. we're open every day right now, 11 to 9, delivering from 4 to 9, and closed on Tuesdays. Very good. Very good. So... It's hard to say that because how do you say you're open every day and then you're closed on Tuesdays? Well, what do no, you say? no, no, we wouldn't say that. We'd say just what you said. But let me ask you a question. Is that That's recipe for bread pudding going to be on your site? Yes, and I always say that, and then I forget to do it. But well, yes, it that's will. all right. People can people it will. call. They people message know. me. They love the chocolate. I had so many oh calls on the chocolate. You, I can't tell you how many people made chocolate. They, mm -hmm. You know, they brought it to the store. It blew, it blew my mind. You know what I mean? They brought it to the store and they made it. What have we got? Sweating? Yeah. Well, I that's guess the so. kitchen. I'm used to it. Sorry. Right. You know, let's roll. They brought the chocolate to the store. Y yeah. Oh, sweet. It wasn't as good as yours, though. Well, oh, how? It's, it's anyway. not hard to Oh, I pretended. Okay, wait. Oh, let me great. go back. Let me go back to the recipe. Any more of this. <laughs> that's the recipe. And then you put a topping on it, which is a half a cup of brown sugar, a quarter of a cup of butter, cold butter, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Very you good. You don't have to use nutmeg if you don't want Very to. Very good. Cinnamon. Stop. Okay. And yes. then you bake it at 375 for about 35 minutes. I'll tell you some tricks after we bake it. And then you pour homemade caramel on top, which is freaking ridiculously good. Homemade that caramel. is melted, a quarter of a cup of melted butter. Then you're gonna whisk together sugar, brown sugar. I mean, yeah, regular sugar, one third of a cup, brown sugar, one third of a cup, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. All right. you put it in the, in the melted butter, put it back on the stove and boil it. That cooks the egg, but does it don't just throw all your eggs and your butter in and put it on the stove because your eggs will cook. Melt your butter first, but I'll show you how to do it. Then you pour it over this, and it gets like a hard, crusty caramel, ridiculously good Like a frosty. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. But it's Very fun. good. Let's roll. Okay, ready? We're going to cut nine cups of bread in, cubes. Little squares? About or? an inch, yeah. If you show me one, I'll do. I'll do it while you're going. You know, next so time... So, if you have... Oh, I see. Yep. If you have bread, old bread... I mean, I try not to use American bread, but if you that's all you have, that's fine. Leave it out overnight so it's a little bit firm. You don't want to use really soft. This is your homemade bread, isn't this it? This is my sub rolls. Oh, these are beautiful. You don't want to use soft bread because you're just going to end up with, like, gushy gush. You want it to be... You want a little crusty on it. You want it to be like a cake. And usually, you want it to be like that. If you were to use really soft bread, it would just be flat and it would not hold together like that. You know, not, so to, to eat this. not to get off the subject, but next time we're going to make raviolis, which is a wonderful... We were, we were supposed to make raviolis this time, but I, I couldn't no figure out deal. how to make it simple enough to do in 20 minutes. Yeah, we want things simple so Look everyone can do it. You know, raviolis has its own day. Did you know that? 
No. March 20th is ravioli day. Well, then I'll have to have a ravioli, homemade ravioli special. Is that unreal? March 20th. Do you know and I tried to do homemade raviolis here and no one wanted them. No way. You, I mean, you sell a lot of raviolis. It. Yeah, they're not homemade though. Well, no, yeah, well. This yeah. is an eight cupper, so I'm just gonna mound it. Okay, very good. Um, if you wanna- Give me that other one over there. We're not gonna need it. Okay. Just finish that. Okay, yes. So go ahead, please. If you wanna make a bigger pan, uh, just probably double this recipe. It'll give you a 13 by nine. Very so good. while he's finishing that, we are going to put one and a third cups of milk. Yes. You know, as we're going along, I, I learned this stuff because we we're going to do it. Do you no, know when actually, came, I'm going to put the eggs first. Do you know when they came out with raviolis? No. 14th century. Unbelievable. I, I can't believe it went back that far. Uh, uh, Francesco De Marco was a, a, a Venice merchant. You and he wrote it. about it. Yeah. You did it. What are you, a ravioli kind of No, no, no. We were going to do ravioli, so I learned. So I'm trying to be, you know, like, I love, this ain't mine. I didn't know this. I had to research it. Who the hell knows That's why knows you asked me. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. You asked me these questions, but you cheat. You do research. Well, I don't. Well, how the hell do what I know? I, I would know, know how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if oh. I didn't learn it by rote. Vanilla. I those every night. She loved them. Anyway, go ahead. But they didn't start using sauce with raviolis till the 16th century, which was weird to me. Anyway, go ahead. What the hell? What the hell is that? What the hell? There's no sugar in there? I screwed this recipe up. Hang on. Good thing I have my cookbook with you, me. You know why I'm wrapping on? Yeah, you're screwing no me up. Intended. You know what ravioli means, Al? What's that? To wrap. There you know, go. now, now if an Look at this is the real recipe book. It's a disaster. That's how many times yeah, I've made this. Yeah, but you know it. I know it. Well, that's it. Would you add sugar in there? Yeah, I forgot to Wonderful. write it on my recipe. Yeah. Uh, One and a third cups of sugar. Okay. Yeah, to wrap was ravioli. I mean, I thought, gee, an Afro-American group can come out of Holland and they could call themselves the raviolis. <laughs> no, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> what, what, what are you putting in there, sugar? Yeah, if you All were right. not I busy wrapping, you'd have known. I know. So we I'm have eggs, sugar, vanilla. Eggs, sugar, vanilla, yeah. Yeah, whenever you have eggs and sugar, which is almost everything if you're baking, really? whisk your sugar with your eggs, it makes things better. Not that important that is three quarters of a cup of raisins soaked in orange juice oh that's what the juice was orange juice and one and a third cups of milk so you have milk eggs raisins vanilla sugar so it's apparently equal parts of milk and sugar that i didn't even notice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you have this sweet yumminess there you go we're gonna put let's call that nine cups my hands are nice and clean too no I don't like oh that. you didn't want all that I'm no. sorry I'm sorry last thing Chef Boyardee canned raviolis from 1930 what are what is this canned raviolis you speak of what what the hell are canned I know, raviolis you don't know. you're Italian canned ravioli my grandmother used to say no. Madagon no Madagon <laughs> I'm silly you know but anyway uh, uh, yeah they've been selling raviolis for a while uh, since the 14th 89 century. 89 years? Is that right? Oh my God, the money. I Chef just watched Boyardee. a thing last night on the tomato industry. That the what? The tomato industry. Yes. yes. That the, most of our, well, most of your bought tomato products come from China. Tomatoes. Is that right? They Don't have too much anymore. They have though. made, they have somehow created a tomato that's as hard as a stone and can handle all I've of this. I've noticed that. Yeah. I've noticed it, that. They make it into tomato paste. You did not. They know, They make it into tomato paste and then they ship it here in big barrels and then they make Heinz ketchup, all of oh, your raviolios. Yeah, now they got to pay to but send it over we here have our to own Trump. tomatoes. Yeah, so we America, do. we don't really need, unless you're ch sourcing from out of the country like Heinz, you, we don't need to, we don't need to get tomatoes from China. Mm -hmm. We have our own. We mm -hmm. can grow tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so butter your baking dish. How much time went by there, young man? We're going to go quick. We're almost done. Look, take your stick of butter and butter your baking dish. Take your time. 9.35. Oh, very good. Okay. We're on our way. We buttered the baking dish. We're going to put this stuff in there and you're going to pack it down. Okay. No jokes, Charlie? Well, I did jokes, but you know, uh, uh, Todd from Red Red uh, Big Dog over there in Frankfurt, he said, Charlie, woke up 2.30 in the morning, I heard you going were to wash my a hands. joke. 
I says, I, you know, I, I like off-color jokes, you know, so, yeah, I don't know, my, my career, my stand-up career is waning, if you know what I mean. Like, I'll give you one quick. Uh, I ate a frozen pe pizza the other night, and that wasn't thought out. Ah, <laughs> oh, listen, I see 2,000 yeah, calories yesterday. I fell asleep with the pizza in the oven. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Right, here we go. Horrible, That's horrible. I, I did. No okay, more. so we go have ahead. the bread pudding mix in there. Now yep. we're going to put quarter of a cup. Holy crap, it's hot in here. It is. Oh, with the fan off because you can't hear when we're filming. But go quarter ahead. Quarter of a cup, which there. is a half stick of butter. What's that? A, that's a quarter stick? A qu it's a half a stick, which is a quarter of a cup. Right. A stick of butter is a half a cup. Yeah. And you can display by air. If you want more topping on it, just put more. For God's sake. Well, that's sakes. pretty simple so far. It looked like a lot there, but it isn't. No, well, attention. that's not the part. Okay, half a cup of butter. Or I mean, half a cup of brown sugar. Yeah. Some cinnamon. I don't care how much you put in yeah. there. And I use whole nutmeg. You don't have to use nutmeg at all. My mother never used nutmeg. She said it tastes like soap. Um, I personally like it. That is a nutmeg. Oh, look at that. Ah. It's a nut, actually. Wow, are you for... Oh, I, I, I've been around. It's a nut. It's called <laughs> nut meg. You could put walnuts in there if you want, couldn't you? You could put anything, anything you, you want in there. Yeah, I tried right. doing this with a fork. It was a total fail. Use your hands. Um, all it does is you just chase the butter around. Would it be stupid if you had the butter, butter slightly melted? No, because then you would just you wouldn't be able to crumble it on. Oh, I understand. Oh, I see. That's a topic. You know what I mean? It's, you gotta, you know. Yep, yep, yep. So you just want to kind of mix in the butter and the brown sugar and the cinnamon and sprinkle it Very over nice. yep. the top. Yep. Because it's not sweet enough with all that caramel on there. Understood. Boy, that looks, that looks, the whole idea of that I can't is wait delicious. till you eat it. It tastes kind of like French toast, if anybody likes French toast. Then you put it in the oven, 375 for roughly 30, 30, mm. chicken in 30 minutes. Because you're going to notice that it gets a gorgeous golden brown, but the middle is kind of sunken in. You want the middle to be the same height as the rest of it. So it's going to, when you see it looks, you know, it's not going to burn. When you see it, it's looking like it's done. Just make sure the middle is not sunken in a little. That middle will puff right up, and then it'll be done. Okay. While that's cooking, we're going to make the caramel topping. All right. Look at this mess you made. Don't worry about it. Um, melted butter. Melted butter. Thank you. The heat's kicking my, kicking my butt. Third of a cup of brown sugar. We have in here a quarter of a, or a quarter of a cup of butter melted. Third of a cup of brown sugar. Third of a cup of regular sugar. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. That was a little blame. A little more in there. And one egg. You know how you you feel how hot it is in here? Yeah. That's how hot it is when we work all the time. No, Doesn't I matter know. if those fans are on. Yeah, Open it's kind of cool out there today. I don't know how you do it. It's a, you it's, know, hey, it's a once your whole love. once your whole body is soaking wet, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. It. Yeah. You put that on when it comes out or when? When it comes out. Oh, I see. Okay, so see, I mixed all that. Yeah. I'm that going looks to. Wonderful. I don't want Al to have to follow me over to the stove, but basically, I'm going to put it on the stove, bring it to a boil. And once you got it thoroughly mixed up, like yeah, that. I yep. would cook it. You talk to Al for a minute while I do it. Sure, I'll uh, cook it probably two you minutes. Know, uh, I, I, uh, I would like to mention that uh, Yeti's Italian restaurant, all kinds of subs, you name it, they've got it delicious. And, and Yeti's, of course, has been inducted into the uh, Pizza Hall of Fame. And rightly so, because their pizzas are unbelievable. The Pile Driver, uh, Mizza Pizza, Red, White, and Green. Uh, your 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 uh, your uh, one that's been around forever is your Sausage Com. It's famous here. Uh, sausage, pepper, uh, 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 and mushrooms out of this world. So delicious. And you, if you want, you can order uh, like a pint of sauce to go with if you like. Although it's got plenty of sauce on it, but I like to you know, dunk it in. They're garlic pieces to die for. They have all the dishes, shrimp, chicken. They have a full bar. Uh, they have a children's menu, a large parking lot over here. You come around the corner, there's no waiting. It. You pull right in, you're good. Okay, if we pick it up, what are we? What well, are we? I'm still cooking. Are we done with everything? Don't no. worry about that. 
I'm still cooking that. It'll only take a minute, <clears throat> and then I'll just show you what it looks like, and then we can go eat. I'll tell you what we're going to eat. We're going to have a sausage, pepperoni, mushroom, and onion pizza. Mm, yeah, that's, let's show the folks quick. Yeah, that's what it looks like before it hey, goes in. You know, you know what the difference between a good pizza and a bad pizza joke is? No. The delivery. Ha! <laughs> you did your homework. <laughs> that's the end for the end. That's it. That's a, that's a beautiful pie right there. How long will that cook for? Probably eight, ten minutes. That's all? You know, I noticed you got levels of pizza. Do you have different temperatures for different drawers? Different compartments? Yeah, yeah when I'm doing shells, I lower it a little. These pizza ovens usually so, stays about 450. So you have one that goes pizza, then you have one that goes for something else? Not necessarily. Okay, when it's you, busy, you they're all when, they're, when it's busy, they're all pizza. But this, right? this side we usually use for um, making the bread and the pizza shells. So are we done with this? Well, we are. We showed them the finished. I gotta, product. I gotta finish cooking that. Well, we'll, we'll wait. Because I can't that, leave it on the we'll stove. Time. So let me uh, tell you what we're eating. Yeah. We're gonna have a big yeti. Yeah. Remember the old? Do you remember the McDonald's? Can I the see what? McDonald's? The what? The old Big Mac song from McDonald's. Jeez, I don't. What, Sing it. what was it? Two all beef patties, right? Can I say it? Oh, well, you can. Yeah, yeah, sure. You can? But yeah. can I say the other name? I think you can. Freaking McDonald's. Yeah, no big, big Mac. I remember I had my first Big Mac. Do you remember your first Big Mac? Holy crap. But it's two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a special Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, the Big Yeti is kind of like that. So if you like Big Macs, you're gonna freaking love a Big Yeti. But of course, it's 100% ground beef, special yes, beef. It's, it's not your. It's eight ounces and a half pounds. Your pound. commercial beef. It's the Yeti's no, uh, it's, restaurant it's, stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna great. have chicken Bianco, chicken Riggies. Nice. Uh, fried dough, and a sausage, pepper, and onion sub. All right. Well, and we're gonna go out to else. the bar and sit for a minute and talk more about Yetis, and we're all hang down on. in the kitchen here. Wait, hang so on a second, Charlie. Going out there right now. Thank you. Hang on a second, Charlie. Wait, hang on a second. You know, also, uh, a wonderful thing about Yetis is their mononade sauce. I can't say enough about it, and their stuffed shells, oh my God, they're so good. I, every time I go to her, I'm going to get something different. And every time the girl goes, hi, Yetis, may I help you? I go, yes, give me the stuffed shells. Oh my God, they're so good. And they're... Okay, so this go ahead. boiled for about two minutes. Yep. And it gets a little foamy. <coughs> And if you get little burnt parts on the side, just stir them in. Mix it's them in. just burnt sugar, which tastes outstanding. Yeah. Burnt yeah, sugar is does. actually a thing. Then when you're when it comes out of the oven, you just pour it over the top, and then it'll get like a hard. Crust you let it cool. Or you no, can you can put it. it you right can do away. it either or. You can do it cold later. You can do it when it comes right out. It doesn't yeah, you matter. You could add whipped cream. You could do whatever. Oh, you add whipped cream after before you eat it. Yep. Is that it? That's it. All right, we're going out to the bar and talk more about oh, Yeti's yeah. Italian restaurant. And Thanks we're going to go take a shower. Wonderful. You know, we did the bread pudding, which was wonderful. Yeah, and it's already out of the oven. we're going to talk a little bit about it's Yeti's It's already Italian out of the restaurant. oven, so it was only like 25 minutes, guys, unless oh, my oven was Honey, let's right. talk a little bit about what you want to bring out about Yeti's Italian oh. restaurant. Well, of course, the menu, of course, pizza, subs, all homemade pizza, rolls. Pizza, subs, right? wings, yes, homemade rolls, paninis, wraps. Um, homemade when we're dinners. Open, we're now closed on Tuesday because you're so busy. We are busy. now closed on Tuesdays for a while till further notice. Bye. Thank you. Well, because you're so busy, you, need, you gotta restock and clean and do right. I mean, I mean, yeah. I used to walk in here and you were dragging 11 o'clock at night. You're still making clean. pizzas and. Well, we're short staffed, so. Yes. Well, you know, yeah, but you you're do? so busy. But they it's handle everything here. No problem There's... with that. Uh, we we do chicken. We do yes. shrimp. Uh, Friday fish fry. All oh, kinds the of stuff. Yeti's Italian restaurant fish fry beats all fish fries. I'm going to say that flat out. Really? All fish fries in the area can't stand in the same room with Yeti's Italian restaurant fish fry. Don't forget, what are you laughing at? That's true. I love that fish. Although I can't get by the stuffed shelves. Yeah, I know. Oh my God. And the garlic pizza with the marinade sauce. Oh my God, so delicious. Yeah, garlic pizza, white pizza, red, white, and green. You just had a red, white, and green. You had a red, white, and green. Al had a red, white, and green. Pile driver. Pile driver, we sell a ton of. That is a grease monster. Holy crap. If you can eat that, it's good, God bless though. you. I mean, it's what, what's on there? All kinds of meats, all kinds, everything. Like two pounds of sausage. Yeah, yeah. Double pepperoni, double cheese, double yep. sausage, double yep. pepperoni, double yep. cheese. It's and, like an uh, eight-pound pizza. Also, the the famous standard pizza. Just the original sausage. Yep, yeah, upside they call down. That the original. The, the original. Yes, it, yep. our, all of our pizzas are upside down. All of our pizzas have the sauce put on last. You know what we need? You know, I, I thought about this the other day, being that Yeti's was inducted into the Pizza Hall of Fame. Yeah, that kind of got squashed have, by COVID. Thank we should, you. We should make a special pizza called uh, the Hall of Fame pizza. 
yeah. after the honor of being inducted or something we like that. We should probably turn my original to that. Long story, too long of a story, but. Yeah, that's a standard. That's a whole other thing. I wish I had thing. a dime for every one of those you sold. I'd be in the, in, in the Bahamas. Uh, yeah. Group. Well, I do want to say that I have new merchandise available. Oh, yeah, 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 see, yeah, I changed my logo. I got one. I Isn't love that my cool? Yeti shirt. Yep. You gave me a nice black one. I love it. With this logo on? No, it was the real. No. W with the Sasquatch on it? Yeah. No. Oh, I no. changed that. I got so the one like you were wearing earlier. That's our nice new logo. I'll give you another one of these, too. different ones. You know, and if you go to Max's Print Shop, Dan Smith at Max's Print Shop, he, he has a lot of local businesses. You just type in... Max's Print Shop, and then go to local shops, and you'll see all of my merchandise Max's there. Max's Print Shop. Okay. Max we'll, Print. Max. Max. M A X S. Yep. He's in Rome. M A X. We'll give him a little plug there. Yeah, it's a little oh, plug. Oh, look at the little Yeti's bag. The bags. I they have them. koozies, coffee yep. cups. Yep. All nice. kinds of stuff. I don't have a lot of space to carry all this, so he has online ordering. We you need just to get order a, online. Uh, we need to get a bag like that. That's Yeti's home of the Hall of Fame pizza. I love that. Oh yeah, uh, we should. Yeah. Huh? Uh, also, the parking lot out there, right? Take out is right straight ahead, hun. Yep, yep, busy like crazy over here. Um, the parking lot right around the corner. Yes. 50 cars can go in there. Uh, we have a full bar here, children's 50 menu. 50 cars cannot go in there, but it's yes, close. more probably. Uh, uh, we have a children's ah, menu. Yes, we have a children's menu. Full have, bar. Full bar. Takeout, delivery. Takeout and delivery. we do parties, right? We do catering. We have an upstairs room for, for uh, small parties, yep. 30 or yep. less. And you can cater whatever. And I never say this, we are loaded, loaded. We are loaded. We are located at 109 Mohawk Street yep. in Herkimer. Yep. The phone number is 315-866-4201. Yes. You know, I... I, I never say that. Yetis.com is yep. the website. Yep. That's true. Yetis well, it's a Pizza, household name. Yetis Pizza and Pasta of Herkimer is the Facebook page. Yep. I post the specials every day. We have daily specials. Yep. On an end note, I... Uh, I took. I had a big special order fee made for me last week. Riggies. We had meatballs. We had chicken wings with the garlic. Oh, that chicken wings are. We brought it up there. Oh, garlic parm chicken camp, wings. And all those, all the sissies' relatives. They're all restaurant people from down New York. They're all top oh, okay. quality. All retired multimillionaires. They did fabulous. They loved it. Really? After they ate everything, like about four or five hours later, they called and told us to bring over the leftovers. No kidding. <laughs> oh, no, it was huge. Listen, we're going to go show some food now. So yeah, we're going to go eat. Thanks, honey bunny. Thank we're going to go You're and welcome. show the food now. Okay. You're welcome. Yep. Thanks, okay. Dale. And here we are once again at the table. Uh, we, we, we just didn't have much time, so we're going to show just a small fraction of what's here at Yeti's But. Certainly a wonderful, beautiful child. Go ahead, Lee. What do we, or okay, Lee. you always yeah. call me Lee, but you know what? That's a compliment. She's a lovely lady. Who? Lee. Lee? Yeah. Lee who? You know who I'm talking about. You call me Tony's wife. Oh, Lisa. She's yeah, a sweetheart. Yeah, you always she call me Lee. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay we're gonna, here we go. We're going to do... It's Felicia. It's Felicia. You can call me whatever you want. No. This Felicia. is Chicken Bianco, which is like a white wine sauce, and it's really creamy, and it's got a little... Uh, bite because of the wine and the cheese. That chicken Bianco this out is, of this world. This is really do good. You have, you have shrimp Bianco milk. too, right? I do, but yep. the chicken Bianco sells better than oh, I the see. chicken yep. is a tenderloin hand breaded. Uh huh. Beautiful. Fried. Very nice. Chicken Riggies. Oh. Almost the number one bestseller in this house. State of the arts. State of the arts. Um, really creamy. There's no better chicken Riggies anywhere. I don't even anywhere. know what to say about Riggies because it's such a regional thing. I don't know who started them, but. God bless you because well, they Well, you know are what they seller. say in Utica. I know, but I don't know who. I, who knows? The Riggy's probably been around for 200 years. One of my favorite subs in the whole place is sausage, pepper, and onion. It is homemade sausage, fried peppers, onions, on a homemade bread. That is number one. The homemade I sausage love that is thing. outstanding I love here. That thing. It's so delicious. Italian you, wedding soup, my mom's recipe. It is. Little meatballs? Seven little meatballs. Count them. If you get less than seven, you're. Your what, what's what's the green stuff there? I'm gonna change it. Yep. Oh, this is greens. This is escarole. Oh, it is. Yeah. Very yep. nice. That's what I make my greens out of. So it's Very got fresh nice. greens, grilled chicken, pastine, and little tiny My meat mouth balls. is watering. It's so delicious. Big Yeti. We talked about that in the kitchen, and that is my favorite burger. It's an eight ounce. What's it called? Fresh Big Yeti. It's a Big Yeti. Very you nice. know, like, you know, oh, I can't even do it. We're just going to have to get in there somehow because I can't grab it. I'll do it for you. You will? Yeah. Can There's no it? way. Can you get it? There you go. Okay. And Very I'm going nice. to eat that because the other half's over there. Oh, delicious looking. 
And then you got your pizza. And then we got the pizza. This is our regular standard pizza. Um, sausage on the bottom. Mushrooms, peppers, and onions. I don't know whose phone that is. Doesn't matter. Let it ring. Go ahead. But it's not mine. It might be mine over there. Want me to go shut it off? Yeah, who cares? Go. Okay. It might be the president calling you. He always calls uh, he called you. Me yesterday. Okay. So look at underneath here. I'm gonna is a fresh layer of homemade sausage. Can look you see that. that? Yep, I can. It's beautiful. Yep. That sausage Cheese, is so delicious. Your items, and then when it comes out, your sauce on right, top. Right. These are garlic puffs. Al's giving me the. These are garlic puffs. They are fried. Minute, two minutes left. Fried dough with. You, you have, also you have this with desserts. Yes, I do a house glaze. I do raspberry, wow. but you like garlic. You're a garlic freak, garlic. so I did the garlic parm ones. You know, it's a good time to mention too. They have desserts, all kinds, brownies, what else? Oh, brownies. Oh, look, yeah, you got it here. Oh, it's totally bread pudding, bring it over. Oh yeah, it came out great. Bring it over. Brownie. Yeah. It, I think I weighed it. I think it's 10 ounces. This brownie is. It's huge. It's, it's huge and it's really good. It's got fudge One and chocolate. Have a hard time eating it. Fudge and chocolate chips in it. No, I have people eating them while they're waiting for their pizza. They just no bring problem. me the empty container. I have no idea Some how. Some people can eat. And this is our bread pudding. Look. Love it. Very this nice. This is how it came out. I'm just going to cut a small piece because I. It's still hot. I don't know if I'm going to be yeah. able to get it out. And I will you attempt. You can eat it any way, right? Any way you want. Oh, this is how I eat it. I pick all of the burnt crunchy stuff off the top first. And then my son will come through and eat the bottom part. Very nice. Well, listen, I'll let you sign off. Tell the people goodbye. And Thank come you. down to Yeti's Italian restaurant. Okay, wait, look. Yeah. Oh, okay. nice. Okay. And then you pile whipped cream on top of that. Go sit down and watch a scary movie. <laughs> Go ahead, say goodbye to these Goodbye, people. everybody. I want to thank everyone for coming in and saying such nice things. They always say, I see your commercial. You're so good. They're these nice. are nerve-wracking. They are not fun. But I love doing them. Yep. Thank you very much. Wake up with Al and Walt. Weekdays from 7 till 9 on WVVC. People are stuck in their homes. Yeah. So this is probably a time when you're going to see yeah. things of this nature. It's a really sad yeah. Sad state. For news from the Mohawk Valley and around the world. Kentucky churchgoers ignored a parking lot full of nails and police to attend church services on Easter Sunday. And the weather info you need to start your day. We will see periods of rain with thunder possible. It will be windy with highs in the upper 60s. The Breakfast Club, weekday mornings from 7 to 9. So the question for parents is, have we discovered whether or not the teacher was actually the problem? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold everything. Uh -oh. All right, all right. Just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, we're good. It hurt. Listen on the air at 88.1 FM, online at WVVCUtica.com, the WVVC mobile app, or on Facebook Live.